In step 4 of the calibration procedure we have to fit a base plane to the undisturbed average sand surface. Um, the base plane has two purposes. For one, uh, it defines the orientation of the sand surface and camera space. This is important if your camera is not exactly looking down at the sand uh, perpendicularly, like in this particular case here, the sand surface, well, the camera is at about a 30 degree angle. Um, and the other part is we need to define a zero elevation level so that the color map for the topographic map can be applied properly. And to do that, we are using Raw Connect Viewer. Uh, and we need to fit a plane equation to the observed sand surface. Now in this case I'm not looking at the sandbox but at my floor um, but that's pretty irrelevant. And the first step for that is we need to calculate an average depth image. Uh, so I'm going to the main menu and say average frames and then the camera will calculate the average of about 50 frames it takes right here. Um, and then the next step is to use a plane extractor tool uh, to select a subset of this entire image and then to fit a plane equation to that. In this particular case we don't want to take um, the chair into account here and the, the door over here. So in order to do that I need to make a plane extractor tool and here I'm going to attach that to the one key. It's arbitrary but I'm going to go with that. So I'm pressing and holding one and then select extract planes from the tool selection menu, let go and now the one key uh, will draw rectangles in depth image space. So I'm going to do that, make sure that I'm not capturing um, the pieces that are not part of the ideal surface. So I'm going to start here, press and hold 1, that allows me to drag um, a rectangle. So I'm just going to drag the rectangle all the way down here, let go of 1, and that was it. So now the program prints out the equation of the plane that I just selected to the console and it prints it out in two different coordinate systems. The first line it prints is the plane equation in uh, depth image space and we don't want that. We want the second line which is the plane equation in camera space. And uh, if I read it out here, so in my particular case the first three numbers um, are minus 0 0.03, 0 0.44 and 0 0.90. That's the orientation of the plane. In my case, um, the 0 0.44, 0 0.90 indicate that the camera is at an about 30 degree angle from the vertical. And the last number is the distance from the plane to the camera. In my case, that is minus 64.63. That's in centimeters. Um, and so now we have to essentially copy and paste this uh, second line plane equation into the sandbox layout file. It has to be edited a little bit, it's a slightly different format, but that's explained in the readme. Um, and that is pretty much it. So the, um, again, the, the first part of the plane equation defines the orientation of the plane, and the second point part defines the zero level offset. And, and actually, if you do not like the zero level offset, um, then you can edit that just by changing the last value, again in my case minus 64.63. Uh, that's in centimeters to reiterate, so you can just add or subtract numbers from it to lift or lower um, the zero elevation base plane. Just you can experiment with that uh, to get it to the point where the zero plane is exactly where you want it. Um, that was uh, step four of the calibration.